making a video on Modern Warfare Zombies. I absolutely hate this experience, but we're we're gonna talk about it a lot more than what I'm saying right now. We're gonna talk about all sorts of stuff regarding it, and um, yeah. So. I want to just basically talk about this whole thing with you guys and talk about why I'm so frustrated about Modern Warfare Zombies. Oh my god, this video is going to be insane. Um, first of all, you guys know I came back to Modern Warfare 3 for a very specific reason. That is because I did not play Modern Warfare 3. I didn't play Modern Warfare 3, and recently, I have been playing it. Recently, I have been playing Modern Warfare 3, and I just wanted to tell you guys, I hate this zombies mode. And I got lots of reasons why I hate this zombies mode. It's not just going to be me saying a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to have reasons for hating this. So, let's start the video here. I'm going to start the video with some of the pros, guys. First of all, Tier 1, I love it. Tier 1 zombies are extremely fun to fight. Um, tier 1 zombies are not annoying in the slightest, and they're actually pretty enjoyable. Um, love fighting them. They're super weak and slow, and it makes it a lot funner to go out and take on tier one um if you're fighting tier three it just seems like it's way too hard it almost seems like you have to use your weapon this is something i am not a fan of um but let's not get into the cons yet i have a lot of cons to discuss i want you guys to stay tuned for that i'm gonna go into all the pros for because there's a lot of cons. Stay tuned for the cons because I know you guys do want to see that. So Yeah, the tier 1 zombies are very fun to fight through. They're actually not that bad. Um, in terms of, like, enjoyment, I do definitely enjoy fighting the tier 1 enemies versus, like, a tier 2 or 3. I feel like tier 1 is definitely the more fun type of enemies. Um, and honestly, I enjoy fighting those tier 1 enemies, you know. People will say oftentimes, you know. Tier 1 and, you know, MW Zombies ain't that fun. But, I'm not one of those people. I believe it is very fun. And, you know, I just... I, I like to fight those Tier 1 enemies. It's, it's definitely a fun feature to fight those guys. They're very weak, and they don't give me much of a challenge, which is probably my favorite thing about them. Um, just in general, because... Not given some crazy when it comes to those guys, they're just very basic. Um, but let's move on. There's not much else to say about tier one enemies except they're very weak and slow. Um, and definitely it's fun to these guys. It's even more fun if you have some. Let's get into one of the weapons later. I got quite a bit. I do have to say 
about pack a bunch and all that different stuff. He has a good one, but I have a lot to say in this video. Second, crafting. Now this is both a pro and a con in my opinion. I think that crafting is one of those things. It's questionable. It is a pro and a con for me. I mean, I like crafting in this game. I feel like it gets real fun, but at the same time, crafting is notorious for being a really painful You know what, I do like the fact that crafting is its own little feature and that it has ways of being in the game. Now there is a problem when it comes to crafting and that is that really some items just are so rare you never see them pop up. Like, I guess there's supposed to be these ray gun blueprints and stuff that you can extract and take out of the game to your next game and shit and I don't know but definitely difficulty is something we're gonna talk about more because I hate difficulty difficulty in this game is something ridiculous let's get to the later act cutscenes these are some amazing cutscenes um, act 1 is not so good, but we'll talk about that later. Act 3, I have been told by people, is a really good one. Now, I'm not on Act 3, as you can see, but from what I hear, Act 3 is a good scene. So, Act 3, pretty good, from what I've heard. Um, however... Let's get past that Act 3 cutscene. Containment levels. This is a These add special level abilities to your character. And the mystery box, half price. Even though it only spawns in like one area. You get the mystery box half price, pack a punch at the start of the game. Here, you could get cheaper perks. Um, yeah, definitely some cool stuff you can get access to earlier on in your games. You can start the game with 500 cash with the first one, which is super easy to get. You have to do is extract like two or three times, and yeah, that's that's pretty fun. But don't get me started with extracting a hundred times, that's ridiculous. Unless you complete all the missions. That is really annoying, like... I'm just telling you right now, like... I don't know anybody who's extracting a hundred times. Completing every mission in the game. Unless you're a YouTuber.
Not to mention augments and upgrades for weapons are so fucking rare in this mode. I'm sorry that I'm concentrating, guys. I mean, normally I would not be this focused if I wasn't concentrating right now, guys. Um, but yeah, augments and shit. I got two perks. What did I get? The Perkacola machines are so random.
And you might be wondering why I find this so annoying to play through. Well, you don't really get points for doing much of anything, so... Which oftentimes can be extremely risky because you can instantly die from doing these contracts that will get you killed.
zombie game modes because when you're playing Modern Warfare 3, although it has this shared level between all game modes, it doesn't really mean shit. Because the level doesn't really matter in zombies. It never does. Not unless you're level 25 where you just can't earn But even if you're playing Phil. So, with that being the case, you might as well just play the game and just screw off, because literally there is nothing fun to do about this game and even if I keep on going over this system there is apparently some addicts I guess you can get if you do like enough of these objectives I guess but other than that you're not gonna be having fun games because just in general everything is unless you get wonder weapons every single round you go in you're not gonna be having a good time um Right here, you're seeing I. Like, if I make a video, I should have just done this on Cold War. Because at least making a video on Cold War would have been a lot more entertaining. I know you guys don't even like it, probably. But, yeah, the containment levels, as I was talking about earlier, those unlock some stuff. Crafting does some stuff. And they both are kind of cool, you know, but I'm sure I wouldn't mind if this was a round based zombies and it had these schematics I could take in the next game if I expel. That would be cool. Don't get me wrong, I am not opposed to stuff like that. But I just feel like I feel like you might as well just expel no what you have. What's the point? You see you got eight minutes left? You better just go expel. There's no real point of not expelling in this game. Like, basically it's expel to have a good time. If you don't expel, you're not going to have a good time. So you can see, basically, I go and I just... In this clip, you're watching me buy Jug and get Pack-a-Punch. Literally is all I do here. All I do is get the first pack a punch and it's literally garbage because of how long it takes you to get it. There's no way you will hit pack three. Unless you do contract after contract. It's supposed to put you in with a bunch of other players to make you have a good time, but literally you're not gonna have a good time. Trust me.
next let's talk about that gunplay. The gunplay, as you guys can see from that, is good. The gunplay is fine. Um, it's honestly probably one of the better parts about the whole thing. But about the whole DMZ style play, I do not enjoy it. I think the style of the game is very unenjoyable. Um, I'm gonna hang back and tell you guys that straight up. I do not enjoy that DMZ style that the game has to it. I feel like the uh, whole DMZ style that it has is so stupid that like, it's just dumb, y'all. So let's get into talking a little bit more about it. So, next up we're going to be talking about the uh, whole animations of the different weapons and stuff. I love that they included that the weapons that you use, you can still have those weapons that have the special effects on them and all that cool stuff. Um, the weapon animations and the gunplay looks excellent in this mode, but this is about the last thing I have to say besides the bounty contracts. These are the only other redeeming quality in this game. You know, I... I've been playing zombies for a good minute and I cannot find any other redeeming qualities to this game. I mean, seriously, the XP that you get and stuff, the rewards you get for completing contracts, and I'm gonna list bounty contracts as the easier contracts here. Of the multiple ones. Because if you find a bounty contract, I recommend doing these. These are really easy to complete. But we're about to get into what I don't like about this. And we're going to start with the first con, and this is tier 3.
tier three is shit. Hey, dumb bitch. Where is your fucking thing, Oliver? So this guy starts with 2,500 and the other guy starts with 5,000, huh? work ma'am waist down so Langley wouldn't send over his profile is that unheard of it's uncommon but I don't need his damn email to know something's off you don't trust him why would I
The next con to the game is tier two. Now I don't want to simply tier two is all right. It's not something that the game really makes your life hell because of. It's one of those features where I'm like, eh, it's not terrible.
match feature is just way too ridiculous. I don't think any player wants timed matches that are an hour long and zombies. Um, I had a couple of guys I was playing with earlier actually say, oh, well, uh, ground base sucks. And I was very curious as to where they got that opinion from because I feel like any player who's decent can play round based. But I feel like with this game, the pacing is off and it requires so much more, you know, smart playing to actually be good and potentially a wonder weapon to even get to tier three. Because I feel like to get to that third zone, you honestly have to have a wonder weapon. There is no fighting in that zone unless you have one. Even normal weapons don't do a lot of damage. Even if they're pack 3 in that zone, which is ridiculous. And you can only pack up to pack 2 before you even go in that region, so what's the point? Next up, crafting plans. Obviously, I'm going to try to explain this to you guys. Crafting plans are so rare. Matter of fact, the majority of the crafting plans you get are literally from stupid shit. Don't get me wrong, the containment level feature I think is amazing. I think containment level is my personal opinion. If they are to bring something like that back, I suggest that they do it in a more smart manner. Such as in round base, if they do do that, to do like a round survive. And if you survive like 500 rounds, I think you should get a certain point bonus at the start of the game versus other players. Now, some people might argue, hey, this is extremely unfair. With me, I do not agree on that statement. I actually think that this is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with this. Discovering any of the story, I feel like it's near impossible. Now what can be even worse is sometimes tier 1 is absolutely brutal to you. Um, now I did say that tier 1 wasn't bad when I personally played through it. But I have seen moments where tier 1 is really annoying. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I would hop in a bunch of squad games off the bat. This is a very easy way to get your um, contract done in here. And honestly, I don't suggest playing You at least want to get to the part where you're going to get 5,000 uh, points starting out. And if you want to make your life a little bit easier, I definitely suggest... Lance, therefore, so you're not stuck doing what I'm doing and playing solo for the first 10 or 12 games. 
Now, obviously, you can do that, but that's not a very good idea. I tried it myself, and it only really resulted in me just dying over and over, and it was it was a bad it was a bad time. So. I have the MCW and the MTZ. Now these are the little spore areas. Yeah, but the skill gap in these games, zombies, is just way too much. Crack 300.
Yeah, but next up on the list, I have to say, it's just a weak experience. It's it doesn't have much to it. It's really boring. And really, the only thing that makes this game mode replayable is the things that you get after doing a hundred of these, like, contracts or whatever. You get all these points and shit for doing, like, what, 50 of these or, like, 33 contracts or something. And you get all these bonuses, and that's basically what makes this whole thing worth it. I mean... Bonus points.
while we're on the topic of wonder weapons right now, like the ray gun, let's just talk about how weak some of them are. Now, I haven't used the VR-11 or the other wonder weapon, the one that allows you to fly around. But, from what I can see from gameplay, the ray gun is extremely weak. I haven't used the wonder waff either, but the ray gun seems extremely weak. It also does damage to the player, making it very, very, very not useful. Why do we have such a big squad? There's no replayability, and this shit is basically Outbreak. I mean, tell me something I don't know.
Nexus game is basically Outbreak. Alright, next up on the list, it doesn't feel like zombies, it just feels like a rip-off version of Warzone that they added zombies to. I mean, that basically is what it is.
even lose the first time you die. They're basically rendering the whole zombies feature of it just stupid. There's not even accurate triple or like point values for the pack punch. This was made by basically a bunch of non trigger devs. And that's my biggest problem with this game. Is that. Whoever made it, it's just embarrassing. Um. The atmosphere is just bad. I don't like that atmosphere. I mean, yeah, it feels like Dark Aid, their objectives, but really, that's what we got in Vanguard. How many times do I have to bring up Vanguard? Like, this really feels like, in general, a snapback to Vanguard, guys. And I'll try to finish up, because I know this has been a two-hour video. The art style is very bad in this game. Uh, I do not like it. Specifically, the art style that is in the zombies. It just feels like the same thing as Warzone. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, to be honest with you guys. Like, But yeah, I, I like it. It's just... Feels really Warzone themed. I know I've said that a lot with this uh, current zombies thing, but it does feel really Warzone themed, and I don't know how much more I can sit there and really keep on saying that. I mean, it feels really Warzone themed, it seems really Warzone themed. It actually looks like that is like the biggest thing about it that really disappoints me. I mean, everything else... Now the good thing is, some games, you can just absolutely extract and have so much good stuff on you. Which of course, as you guys know, is a very good thing.
the story is moderate. A lot of people have said many things. A lot of people have said different things about the story, but I stand exactly where I'm at with it. Now the story is all right. I'm not gonna say it's amazing, but I do like it. Um, it does have some good stuff, honestly. I'm not like a crazy fanatic of the story, so you're not gonna catch me praising it. Like, oh yeah, the story is absolutely amazing. no. Um, but. From time to time, you will catch me saying, Oh, I liked this story. I thought it was... I thought it was alright. And... You'll catch me saying that, of course. But yeah, while we're on the topic of that, the story cutscenes for the most part are kind of sad, along with audio logs. Story cutscenes and audio logs go together on this weird arc that they are very bad. Like, I don't know why this is, but the story cutscenes and audio logs are awful in this game. Let's get back to the rest of the cons. I still got a lot to go through. The audio logs. You know, Mob of the Dead is a good example of good audio logs. This map has some really bad audio logs. Mostly just introduction to useless characters or characters that we discovered in Modern Warfare Story Mode. Uh, it's it's sad. Doesn't somebody have the healing uh, ability? Anyway, contracts. Yes, these are a con and a pro, I do believe. And honestly, I am somebody who considers them both. Now, if you enjoyed these, that's up to you. I thought they were all right. Body logs, absolutely not. Contracts, they were okay. Locked entirely behind pure grinding. 
that is the biggest problem with this game mode. I will never be a hater towards this game mode, but it is literally completely locked into grinding. thing is locked behind grinding. Looking down back at my notes, and the boss fight and the Easter egg are locked behind grinding, which becomes the biggest problem. The boss fight is done really badly um, compared to some of the tougher boss fights, and it really is way too easy from what I've heard. And this is the biggest problem with that.
So while I've been playing the past two games, I guess with the squad, my mind has slightly changed if I am on a squad. Because I guess if you're playing 10 or 11 or 12 contracts a game, you're actually having a decent time. And as you guys can see, I've had two games of having a decent time. Now, I gotta say, the story grind is absolutely ridiculous. The stuff we're gonna get into next isn't completely gameplay related. But the story grind is absolutely ridiculous. And, um, it is just a bunch of crap. Let me just say that much. Uh... But, once you get so far, it's actually enjoyable and you can level up the weapons just like you do in Warzone and get like 5 or 6 levels of games for some of them. And that is really enjoyable, I gotta say. And these are really fun to use. Some of this gameplay is really fun. Let's just get into stuff that's really important. First, let's talk about the whole Activision problem. A lot of people, I don't know if they have heard of the Activision problem, but anyway, there was an Activision Blizzard uh, corporate layoff, which caused a lot of the Treyarch team to abandon this game, and it basically caused Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward to have to develop the game with less staff and it really made this not so fun. It ruined this experience. We could have had multiple maps, instead we just did not and it's sad. Um, it really is.
after that whole activation playoff, Treyarch kind of walked away from the game, and this caused a lot of problems with Call of Duty MW Zombies. Instead of making it into what it could be, it kind of just died into the three days grace whole situation. And then let's get talking to the next part. And that is the 70 plus dollar game problem. A lot of games are having this problem nowadays and this is one of them. I do not pay a lot of money for a lot of games and this game I didn't even end up buying. I got it for Christmas because literally it was so expensive. And I did not feel like paying so much money for a product I really didn't know how it was going to turn out. I don't even think I played the beta on the game. Treyarch wasn't included, which led to some bad marketing and stuff later on, which actually did end up causing some problems for the developers of the game due to Treyarch basically just being not included at all. Mystery box for four seventy five. What? I'm taking a nap. Yeah, after this. That's what I'm doing after this. I'll take a nap and put my clothes away.
Plus points. So next, the game mode was just left with unfulfilled promises, and it felt like the game mode was really messy. I feel like that's all these games are nowadays, dude. Left with unfulfilled promises, honestly. Um, but yeah, moving on. Next part, this game mode was just really messy. It was ruined. It wasn't, it didn't feel right. And I'm sorry that I couldn't get out a shorter video, guys. See you guys. I do want to apologize for that because I feel like that's something I really failed at, was getting out, like, a shorter video. And I feel like that was possible, but I just feel like I definitely failed at that. So, we'll see, man. Just going around, though. Bad communication from Treyarch employees to their fans was another huge big issue at the time and Treyarch had cut off a lot of content creators at this time and kind of broke the game because of that. Um, a lot of people didn't want to play it because Treyarch had done that despicable thing and just basically got rid of a bunch of their creators who were some of the like big creator people and they basically stopped sponsoring them and Treyarch did not like this but it was Modern Warfare Zombies what can they do and not really their game they are only in charge of zombies mode so Moving on to the next thing, just bad storylines, audio logs, I know I've brought this up like three times now, but it has to be said, audio logs in every other game were very well done, and just in this game, even in Alpha Omega they were done very well. In every map that we've ever done in Zombies, there's always been good audio logs, and... There was no good audio logs. They absolutely sucked at that. I don't know who was in charge of that part of the game, but they honestly need to be fired.
But yeah, there was negative reviews all over the place from YouTubers, just general media people. And yeah, this game did not get positive reviews. So that was a huge problem all over the place was getting the get the positive reviews it needed. Another thing is Activision basically during season two they basically messed up big time. And screwed up the whole thing. Um now
Now I want to finish up with saying there was bad updates to the game and that is what caused the game to age even worse than it already had. Um, I'm just going to say that. game should have been better, but instead now we are expelling every match instead of fighting all the matches out because it's on round based. It's not on round based and now we're just expelling every single time we get in the game. And it is a little bit ridiculous. I'm not going to argue that. So, I do want to say, like, thirty one percent battle pass, but also. I just want to say it was overall bad. My rating on this is a 4.0 out of 10. And that basically is an awful rating. This zombies mode should have been changed to awful. Now, I will tell you, I think the Vanguard zombies was honestly the only zombies experience to reach the same height of disappointment as Modern Warfare Zombies. I mean, I like the idea where it was going with some of these ideas. Containment level, the percentages of story progress, how it wasn't just one match to a dedicated easter egg, but some of it was honestly just garbage, and my opinion wasn't done right. The battle passes were just characters from TV shows, movies, and like weekly entertainment. For example, Homelander characters, The Walking Dead characters. I even believe there was an Iggy Azela skin in the game. There's also WWE wrestlers in the game. Just, just unnecessary characters. There's been rappers in the game too. Like, it's, it's bad. I don't like it, and it's bad. Everything in this game was a copy of Warzone. It was a copy and paste Warzone, open world, everything. DMZ. Black Ops 3, or not Black Ops 3, DMZ, and just the whole copy and paste Warzone aspect threw me off, and I did not like it one bit. I have never rolled a Wonder Weapon since I started playing the game, and I've been playing it for about three days now, three whole days, and it it's embarrassing. I would rather play the multiplayer, which is extremely addicting, especially on like hardcore game modes, for 20 hours in a row before I play some of the garbage zombies. I mean, and I've completed two out of the six acts and zombies to the first like chapter I've completed two out of six of those tiers almost three and it I don't like it it has to go places and it needs to go places and it just it's not right being able to choose one objective per match pretty much and you have to just get lucky and hope that you have the qualifications to do the next objective 
most of the objectives requiring you to restart your match and basically expo out of there and do the match all over again to be able to do them is pretty much the most retarded thing ever i don't like that word but it's going to be used because it really is what it is and it's just bullshit I don't like it, you guys got my opinion of it, it's basically been three hours, I wanted to get that out there, and when the new um, NBA comes out either tonight or tomorrow in the morning, I will have a video of me testing the game, playing as different teams, setting up like my, my league, doing like the setup for the online league, whatever creating my career character like I will I will be on it first chance I get so that's that that will be my next video simply and maybe I'll have a video saying goodbye to 2k23 or 2k24 but yeah anarchy out dude you guys can just hit that outro yourself because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna also say this Modern Warfare, I'm not gonna be streaming a lot of Modern Warfare on here. Black Ops 6 is the next Call of Duty I'm gonna be streaming. Modern Warfare 3 is dead to me and it doesn't exist. If I do play it and I do prestige and I do level up and complete the battle pass, etc. I'm going to be moving on to Black Ops 6 anyway. So I don't really care for this game. Obviously. Modern Warfare 2 was the one that I cared the most about. Next to Cold War, and other than that, I didn't care at all. Cold War Zombies always lived in my heart as the best zombies that I've played ever since this experience came out, and that's just facts. Um, ever since Firebase came out, ND Machine, that would be my favorite zombies experience since BO3. I mean, Nothing has topped it. Modern Warfare Zombies will never top it. And let's just hope that Black Ops 6 can either top it or can make something close. I'll see you guys later.